Next service type is node port, which is built on top of the cluster IP service type by exposing the cluster IP service outside the cluster on high ports of the worker nodes. So the default port range would be 30,000 to 32,767. If port number is not specified when you are defining the uh, node port service, so the Kubernetes will be automatically picking up a free port number and then assigning it to the node port service. Local queue proxy is responsible for listening onto this port on the nodes and then forward that traffic on the node port to the cluster IP service. So what are the use cases of having a node port? Node port can be very useful when you are manually configuring external load balancer to forward the uh, layer for traffic from the clients outside the cluster to the particular set of ports which are running inside the Kubernetes cluster. So in such cases, the specific port number that is used for the node port must be set ahead of time and the external load balancer must be configured to forward the traffic to the listening port on these worker nodes. So you can create these uh, node port service with kubectl create service node port and the service name you can provide nginx and in the same way like previous minus minus tcp what is my service port colon then what is my target port and then additionally you can define the node port what is the node port do i need to use for the service using minus minus node port if you don't define the node port flag in that case kubernetes will be automatically picking up a free port for you so the node port service yaml file would look like this the only difference is the type would be node port and then you can define the node ports address under the port section. So to expose an existing deployment or a port, you can use this command as well to create the service type would be in this case, node port. And then need to highlight this point. You cannot define the node port number with this kubectl expose command. So in that case, if you want to use this command, you need to export it with the YAML definition and then in the YAML definition you need to make the required changes and then do the apply.